No. Leukemia is not one of the diseases you can transmit sexually. I'll have to rewrite the whole third act. Swaim! O'Brien! I need you war dogs in my office! Oh, now, hundred hours! What for? Because I got some homemade paella I'd like your thoughts on. Just get in there, maggots! Wow, this is really good. Mm. Is this time you've used? I'm certainly healing my hunger wounds. Uh, wrong time. At the right place? I don't know how we're going to get back on track now. All right, you retarded versions of Abbott and Costello, listen up. The United States Secret Service is here. One of our articles set off a red flag in their database, and it looks like they want to make sure Crack.com isn't some terrorist organization. Okay. Sarge? I am sorry about that, and just so you know, I am on this, okay? I've dealt with this kind of thing before. You see what he's doing, right? Hold these for a few seconds for me, Daniel. I just gotta go put some things in order for the interview, but you tell the Secret Service that Michael Swain is psyched about this. Kids still say that, right? Psyched? It's not you they're worried about, Michael. It's Dan. Bullshit. Bullsh What could I have possibly done to alert the Secret Service? I've never even jaywalked! Maybe you read it wrong, Sarge, on, a, on account of one of your eyes is up in heaven with the other well-behaved eyes. They were a little vague, but it was either this article you wrote on fast food or this one, entitled Six Helpful Hints for Blowing Up the Statue of Liberty. That? That's it's just nonsense! Yeah, and there weren't nearly enough schematics. I was like Rick down there. Rick is blind. Listen, if anyone at this company is a threat to national security, it is Michael, and we all know Damn it. Damn straight. I can out-terror a principal balding any day of the shark week. They just want to interview a few employees as long as we're honest, and we all... Oh, sweet Jesus, Michael, did you just pull the pin out of a live hand grenade? Pay attention to me. Dan O'Brien, sometimes just D.O.B. Uh, I'm 24 years old, but uh, I'm about 110 and loving my country years. Uh, please don't. Uh, you don't have to... My name is Michael Swaim. Alias is Mike Danger. Dirty Mike. Danger Dirt. Turtleneck Dirt. Turtleneck Shirt. Dirty Duck. Did I say Danger Duck? Danger Duck sometimes. Batman. All the time. Most of the rest are just like Danger and then something else. May I ask your real name, age, and birthplace? You may not. You may ask my rank. Your... Although when you get to my level, the way we quantify rank is so advanced, you wouldn't be able to comprehend how much higher than yours it is. I think I can... I'm a star cougar. Sorry, I just don't see how my romantic life is relevant to this discussion. Aren't you dating Daniel O'Brien? No. Yes. Wow, I... I should really write that down. Here, you tell your readers to, quote, shove so much dynamite down Lady Liberty's sexy throat that her farts smell like nitroglycerin and she poops a Wile E. Coyote cartoon, end quote. And that's what that looks like. Hey, you guys don't mind if I've been drinking for like two and a half hours, right? Care to explain that? Uh, Wile E. Coyote was famous for his over-the-top use of dynamite and... Poops are hilarious. Mr. Swaim, if you're nervous, I want you to know that you've got nothing to worry about. No one in the United States government thinks you're a threat. This is bullshit. Can I ask how you lost your eye? I was out doing something well above your pay grade and I had an accident. Although I'm surprised you didn't hear about it. It was coded into all the papers you haven't yet earned the right to be aware of. I'm the wild and unpredictable one! I mail heroin to kids. I make bald eagle egg omelets that I don't even finish. I rent video games and then keep the manual. Have you ever defaced a statue before, American or otherwise? No. Did you know I have knives? Everywhere. Just all over the world. I've planted them. Do you find the Statue of Liberty to be sexually attractive? No. Knife, okay? Knife? Oh my god, what is it? Is it a knife? It is a knife. Could you look in your jacket pocket and tell me what you find? It's a knife. It is a knife. And I placed it there. If the Statue of Liberty was a person, do you think you'd have a problem with her? Look, you're not gonna trick me into saying I hate the Statue of Liberty. Because of the government. Something, something. Whatever it takes to get on your people's radar! If you were a statue... Oh, okay, okay, I love America, alright? It's very basic stuff. It's not treason. In fact, it's the opposite. 
by exercising my freedom to write such outlandish and taboo things, I'm embracing the very foundation upon which this nation was built. I'm celebrating its essence. If Patrick Henry was alive today, he would wipe his ass with the American flag as an unapologetic way of saying thank you for blessing me with the hammer of freedom so that I may nail my beliefs onto the wall of tyranny. What if the Statue of Liberty killed your parents? Would you seek vengeance? All right, that's plenty. I'm sorry? This interview's over. I could show you a badge that gives me that authority, but I'd have to blind you after looking at it. So it turns out they just wanted us to take the articles down and hand over the names and addresses of everyone who commented in agreement. The Secret Service is going to hassle our commenters? Yep. I have no problem with that. Assalamu alaikum to you too. Well, I'm done. What I miss? Did one of you just call the White House and threaten the Vice President in Arabic? <sighs> Bingo. <laughs> Took a learning annex class. Well, as hilarious <laughs> as that was, it means we're going to have to interview everyone again, so don't take off just yet. Yay! Everyone's paying attention to me!